Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto Tools and Time.com. Welcome back. Today in the shop, we have this 2010 Honda CRV. The customer states that the door locks just simultaneously just start going off, and it seems like it's from the driver's side. He had it at another shop. Supposedly, they replaced the driver's door actuator, but the problem is still there. Um, they think it might be a BCM problem. Who knows? We're going to have to get in there. We're going to have to dig in and see what we have going on. So the first step I'm going to do is pull up some codes, which I started doing. That's when I thought, you know what? Let me bring you in just in case we cross something that's interesting. Maybe this video might help somebody out. So we just got done running a system health check. We see the dreaded P0420, but that's not what it's here for. But we do see on the BCM, we have a B1128 driver's door remote switch input circuit malfunction. Sorry about that. I had to step away for a moment, but now we're back onto this Honda and we're going to see what is going on with this driver's door lock. So it's saying door remote switch input circuit malfunction simultaneously input of lock and unlock signal. So according to the owner, the vehicle is at another shop. They replaced a door lock actuator on a driver's door but I'm not certain if that code actually points to this cause only because it's saying door lock switch. I would think that this is the switch for the door lock. And I noticed that it's not functioning in either direction, so I can't lock or unlock the vehicle. So what I wanna do is go into, I wanna view the data. So I wanna to go to door locks, read data stream, I want to look at driver's door cylinder. No, nope. driver's door lock switch. Okay, that's what the code's for. That's the lock. Driver's door lock switch unlock. Okay, now we want to select okay. So this is very interesting. It's saying that the driver's lock switch is off. These should both be off. And I believe they're momentary buttons, so the only time one should read on is if it's pressed. So it's saying that we're trying to unlock the door. So the unlock side is not changing state. So once the vehicle starts driving, it starts going crazy because the vehicle, after it hits a certain threshold, like 10 miles an hour or something, whatever it might be, it's gonna try to lock the door. So what happens when we push the lock? Okay, now it changes state to on. So it's getting that input, however, it's saying that the driver is pushing this button. So something's going on here and we got to narrow down why it's saying that it's always commanding to be unlocked. So our issue might be in that mechanism itself or if this is a control module of sorts, I'm not certain, but we're going to dig into this door panel and we're going to find out. To remove this door panel, pop this cover off. There's a Phillips head screw behind here. Pop this little cover off here. There's another Phillips head right down here. There's one more access spot. Pop that open. Phillips head screw. Same here. Pop that cover out. And Phillips head screw. And then you just pull it. It's just pop tabs. Unhook everything. All right. Once you get past that, just lift the door panel off. Um, pop this inner portion off. It's just a couple clips. And then unplug the switch. And I wanted to come back in here and reread that switch. Okay, now we're showing both off. This is what I expect to see. So I believe at this point we have a problem going on with that door switch. And we'll move stuff around here just to make sure I didn't didn't wiggle anything. Make sure there's no abrasions inside the door. This is the only thing that we played with. So make sure nothing got cut through here. And once the door panel is back on, we start rubbing again. I'm not seeing anything. What I'll do is I'll pop this off. We'll take a quick look. Everything looks good. 
All right, next, remove all the Phillips head screws around here. I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you get those removed, we'll take and pop this out. Okay, you'll see. All right, then what you'll have to do is just pop all these plastic tabs with a screwdriver or a non-marin tool. And you'll see it'll all pop out. And then there's one more clip behind here you gotta pop out. And then you just remove it. And then you'll have four Phillips head screws. You will remove them. And then you can take and remove your um, control. Moment of truth for this Honda CRV. I got a secondhand master switch assembly. We're gonna plug it in and see if this takes care of our problems. We'll plug it in. We'll look at the inputs and they should both be off. You shouldn't have one staying on and then whatnot. So let's see what happens here. Fingers crossed. Read data stream. Oh wait, I'm gonna put the key in the ignition, that would help. Driver's door lock switch lock. It's driver's door lock switch unlock. Okay. All right, well, that's a good sign. They're both showing off now. Showing off. <laughs> You're just showing off now, aren't you? All right. Let's see what happens. And before I would turn the key on and the door locks would go crazy. You notice how they're not going crazy anymore. All right. That was lock. I'm gonna push lock again. You can see the switch. Now I'm gonna go unlock. Oh yeah, let go. Unlock again. Perfect. Make sure everything else works on this switch. Okay. Back ones. Okay. Now we put the door panel back together. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got it back together. I reversed the procedure, pretty much hang the top on, clip everything in place, Phillips head screw, followed by your plastic cover, Phillips head screw, followed by your cover, Phillips head screw, and close up the tab. And the Phillips head screw underneath this cover, and then close it up. All right, I'm gonna show you how this works real quick. Notice how the driver's door is unlocked. The other doors are still locked. That's because, say I started up, I'm driving. As you know, it automatically locks the doors when you start driving. When I turn off the key, you see the side unlocked, but the other side remain locked. I'd much rather, me personally, um, when I stop and I put it in park, all the doors unlock. I'm gonna see if that function works on this Honda. Um, I believe that's what he said he would rather have happen, or at least all the doors unlock when you turn the key off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step on the brake. I'm going to turn the key on without starting the vehicle. I'm going to hold the back side of the, so that would be unlock. That was one click. Keep holding it. Two clicks. I'm going to hold it back five more seconds. You'll hear another one. Release it. Within five seconds, turn off the key. And I believe we just set it, but we're going to find out. So let's lock all the doors. Start to drive. Yeah, there you go. Everything unlocks. Let's go for a ride. All right, all doors are unlocked. Start driving, all doors just locked. Perfect. I'm gonna go very far. Pull it in here, we'll park it. We'll see how she's working. All right, pull it in here. All right. 
and place it in park. And Bricadabra, all four doors unlocked. We are good to go.